Peace, man. Stay. Quick, somebody's dead. Get to the Thai right now. Stop us dead. This is the arrest footage of Anthony Benison in How to Regis. Anthony! Anyone outside flat free? It's the armed police! Come and open the door slowly with nothing in your hands! Just do exactly as I say, show me your hands, both hands. Slowly walk towards me. Stop, turn to your face up, Paul. Take that bag off your face. Just get the name confirmed. What's your name? Say again. Anthony Benesil. Anthony Benesil. Well, Anthony, at this moment in time, mate, you're under arrest on suspicion of murder times two, which occurred on the fifth, on the thirteenth of November, 2022, in Ty Farm, Hatton Regis. He murdered two people and injured another male in an incident after an argument inside a pub. Himself and Nicholas Papworth have been jailed today for a combined total of 72 years. The judge said in court that this was 27 seconds of carnage in Houghton Regis in November of 2022. The victims, Adam Finelli, 39 years old, and Patrick Howard, 27, were left dead and a third male was seriously injured. It has all started from a brief altercation in a pub that sparked an incident that led into the street. Papworth and Benison attempted to use their vehicles as weapons and Mr Finelli, who was the first victim, had left his home to see what was happening after he heard the car and the commotion outside his home. Papworth and Benison were found guilty of 12 offences and they include murder and attempted murder following an eight-week trial at Luton Crown Court. And on Thursday the 3rd of August 2023, they were both jailed for their crimes. They were handed life sentences to serve a minimum of 34 years for Papworth and 38 years for Benison. The court heard that shortly after 1am on Sunday the 13th of November, police were called to a hit and run in Farm Road, Houghton Regis. Mr Finelli and Mr Howard were pronounced dead at the scene and a third male was taken to hospital with life-threatening injuries. An investigation by Bedfordshire Police, Cambridgeshire Police and Hertfordshire Major Crime Unit pieced together CCTV to establish what had led to the fatal attacks. Yes, copy. Where am I going? Ty Farm Road. Our anonymous informant just saying someone is dead in the street. Mail has been run over. Police had learned that victim Mr Howard had been involved in an altercation with a group that Papworth and Benison were with. The fight was broken up by people inside the pub. And after this, Mr Howard and another person left the pub to try to defuse the situation. This should have been the end of the situation, but Benison got in his car around 10 minutes later and drove around the area trying to find Howard. He eventually found him on Drury Lane in Houghton Regis and Benison drove at Howard and his friends at high speed and collided with road signs, fencing and also parked vehicles. Mr Finelli, who was the second victim, was at home with his mother at the time and she said to the police that he had said he would be back in a minute when he went outside to see what was going on. He came across Mr Howard and the rest of the group and they were running away from Benison and his car and they went down an alleyway to escape him. He wasn't able to follow them so Benison returned to the pub and he got his friend Papworth and another male and they drove in two vehicles down Drury Lane to try to find them again. They located Mr Howard and he was with Mr Finelli and a third male in Tiff Farm Road at around 1.15am. The pair drove at the group before Benison got out of the vehicle and attempted to attack the third male. He also stabbed Mr Finelli, who had nothing to do with the situation, in the chest as he attempted to intervene. Mr Finelli fled the scene but he died in a nearby driveway and was found by the police shortly after. Benison then went on to stab a third person eight times in the back and also the neck and he stabbed Mr Howard in the back of the neck and this caused instant paralysis. The co-defendant Papworth turned round and drove directly at Mr Howard as the third man attempted to help him. Unable to move, Mr Howard was killed when he was hit by the car and he was also dragged a short distance down the road after he became trapped underneath the vehicle. Both Papworth and Benison were arrested in the days following the incident. My hey, he's, in he's in there. Go, go, go. Stay where you are now. Turn hands on the floor. Get on the floor. Hands. What's your name, fella? Nick. Nick, Nick Watts. Did you say? Backward. Yeah. Nick, at the moment, mate, you're going to be placed under arrest and murder, yeah. okay? Benison pled guilty to two counts of murder in relation to Patrick Howard and also Adam Finelli, and two counts of attempted murder and three counts of GBH of intent. 
Papworth was found guilty of one count of murder in relation to Mr Howard and two counts of attempted murder and two counts of attempted GBH. Papworth was found not guilty of the murder of Mr Finelli. Detective Chief Inspector Sam Canner said, We welcome today's verdict by the jury and this was a very extremely violent case and the murders were senseless. While I hope today provides some justice for the family, the loved ones of those who were lost will never get over it and our thoughts and support remain with them. The level of violence used in this attack is some of the worst that I've ever seen and it is some of the most shocking footage that has been shown in court. I would once again want to thank everybody in the wider community for assisting the police with the investigation. Two of the men were found not guilty in relation to the incident as well. And regular viewers of the channel will know that I covered this story a year ago. And thank you to everybody that helped me to piece it together at the time. And please pay your respects in the comments. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me on social media as well at Scar City Studios. And also the website at scarcitystudios.com. Peace.